My name is Chris Mills and I'm the branch manager of the Greenwich and North Fairfield branches of the Huron County Community Library. And today I'm going to show you our instructions for our take and make adult painting kit. We're going to look at the contents of our take and make kit and we are going to be making a painted sign. So you're going to have an instruction sheet. Pay attention to this instruction sheet. It's got some great tips on it. And these craft kits were presented to us by Danielle Grace Designs out of Norwalk. She was nice enough to work with us to, so that we could put these out for you. You're also going to have a small board, your stencil, and cups of paint. I poured my paint into a larger container. You can also pour it onto a plate, whatever you feel like working with. If you don't like the colors that we provided or you want to use your own paint because you have colors that you like better or go with your decor feel free these are just basic acrylic craft paints and you also have a larger brush and a couple smaller either sponge brushes or regular paint brushes and that will be all that you need to do this awesome take and make craft paint if you have acrylic paint at home and you prefer a different color you can pick up your own at any craft store so we're going to start by just using the wide brush and you're going to put a real nice thin coat on your board. You don't want to do more than two coats of this, otherwise it gets too thick and gloppy. And it looks best if you kind of follow the grain of the woods, so you get it in all the little cracks. You can also apply the stencil directly on the natural colored board if you would prefer. And just continue like that. I have a board already painted because it has to be completely dry. That is the next step. She really wanted to emphasize, make sure it is completely dry before you continue. So the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to flatten out all the air bubbles on the stencil that you have. I am using a handy dandy library card. I hope you have one of those. You can also use a credit card if you don't have your library card handy. And you're gonna to wanna to smooth out all the air bubbles that you see in this blue section. Turn it over so the white part is facing up and you're gonna carefully peel this white backing off. You're going to see some of the pieces of the stencil come away. That's okay. Don't panic. They're supposed to be there. I can see that the center of my A peeled off. We can just go ahead and put that right back in. The sticky side up. So now you're going to have this, your stencil, you're going to put it on your board. You have a little bit of leeway with your placement here. So don't push it down until you 100% think this is where I want it. Once you decide this is where you want it, you're going to smooth it out a little bit with your fingertips and then Use your card to go back over it and smooth all of the air bubbles out. And you can see you're kind of getting into the wood grain. That's how you know you're getting the air out and you're getting it adhered to the board. Once you have it smoothed out, come back in. There is a really, really thin clear layer on top of your blue stencil and you're going to carefully pull that off. You may have to kind of smooth down the blue stencil as you peel. That's why you want to be really careful with this. What we're going to do is she recommends that you 
put a real thin layer of paint in your area. So very, very light. And we're going to use one of these little foam pouncers, they're called. And you just kind of want to fill in your area where you want that color to be. She says to start with a light coat and then um, you can, you'll can you go back and add more. But that light, putting that light coat in and letting it dry a little bit helps ensure that you don't get a lot of bleed under the stencil. <clears throat> Remember, if you glop paint on, you run a higher risk of it running underneath the stencil. So over here, I have my orange for my pumpkin. We're just going to kind of lightly fill in here. We are here with our completed stencil. We've let it dry. And the very last step is to just really carefully start peeling this blue backing off. You'll see a little bit of your base coat paint coming off from the board. That's fine, that's normal. These are rustic signs. And just very carefully peel that blue backing. When we get into the more intricate parts, especially with the pumpkin, uh, some people find that a pair of tweezers or um, any other sort of little small thing to get underneath those pieces. Don't worry if your stencil tears. This is trash anyways. So, and you're just going to very carefully peel your backing off. And here is your finished product. Notice we pulled all the little pieces off. Got all your little detail in there. Nice little rustic sign, a fun gift, a good fall accent. Keep in mind, if you're gonna put this piece outside, you need to seal it with some spray polyurethane um, or a brush on because the paint will wash off. So again, thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting you here in County Community Library. And thank you to Danielle Grace Designs for these awesome craft kits. Thank you.